Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anderson. If you've never been here before, if you haven't, welcome here. If you have, welcome back. So happy to have you watching my video today. And you know, today I'm just gonna show you how I curl my hair. Let's get right into the video. So let's get into it. Let's get physical, physical. I wanna get physical. Let's get in physical. Okay, firstly, I am wearing my extensions. Um, I have them all clipped in. And when I do that, I got my hair all kinky because I put it in a ponytail to film a get ready with me video to do this I look my whole face actually and I was talking about things I learned in my past relationships and it was a whole video and then I realized it was out of focus <laughs> mm. I'm not taking a chance with this one and I'm filming it forward facing so if I'm looking in weird places or you're like why isn't it as good of quality that is why but I just cannot handle <laughs> another video going awry on me today. So firstly, even though I'm curling it, I do use a curling iron, but I always have a straightener on hand. And then for my curling iron, I use a one and a quarter inch barrel. So getting started, I always start with the bottom half. So I take it just kind of, oh, the my clips are all in here. I take it just above my ears, depending where my extensions are, but and I just throw this up in a bun or clip it up if you have a clip, it's less damaging. And I pull my hair forward. Now, when I curl my hair on the bottom, I always just use um, the clamp. And then when I do the pieces around my face, I do it differently. So when I'm curling it, I just will take a chunk like this big and then I wrap it in and I always go away from my face. And as I bring it down, I'm opening up the curling iron a bit up till about here, I leave this much hair at the bottom and then I just curl it up to the top and I will hold it for, you know, some time. And then as I'm letting it come undone, I twist it out and I'm twisting my curling iron as I go and when I get to the bottom, I pull it so it kind of straightens the bottom piece. And this is what it looks like. Now don't touch it. I know it looks like a barrel right now, um, but just leave it while it's cooling down. I need to plug my phone in or it's going to die. Wow, that was a whole event. Trying to get this freaking extension cord. Let's get physical. Why am I singing that song? Why are you always lying? Okay, okay, so the first couple kind of pieces I will do away from my face and just curl like this and then down, twist, twist and pull. Got it, got it. Now, as we get into the back a little bit here, I'm going to curl it towards my face. So clamping it here, twist towards my face. As it's turning, as it's turning, I'm clamping. Okay, so I'm gonna do that for the whole bottom and I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Twist, twist, twist. Onto this side, front pieces away. So clamp, twist away. As I'm pulling it down, I'm opening up my clamp a little bit. I don't start at the bottom and twist it all the way up. I keep it pretty much in the exact same place and I'm just pulling hair slowly so okay and whoop, 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 beep, so <laughs> we ran into a little problem um the problem was that i after all that plugged my phone in but the extension cord wasn't plugged in so that is what we call that's what we call pulling a potato so is plugging the extension cord and unplugging your curling iron oh my gosh how am i supposed to do a tutorial like this you know just waiting for my curling iron to heat up how are things with you <laughs> how's it going this is behind my ear so i can do this piece towards my face is maybe a bit big but okay that is the bottom layer now now what I've been doing since I've had these really long extensions is when I pull my hair forward I take my straightener and just make sure you know that we're all on the same page up here okay so this is where I learned this from Joelle Fletcher from The Bachelor so I'm gonna take my barrel hold it upside down then I'm gonna take the front pieces of my hair and I'm going to wrap them around and stop you know, with like a good amount out of the barrel. We're just gonna pop a squat. We're just gonna chill for a sec. Let it heat up, do its thing. What's up? Then once it's hot, we're going to drop it into my hand and just kind of do that. We're just gonna let it chill out. And now I'm going to do the other pieces surrounding my face the same way. So again, wrap, wrap. So I don't wrap my whole head, but I'm wrapping these front pieces. It just gives you a different look to the curl. Hello, it's a look. There it is, thank you. And drop. This will be my last piece that I do towards the back. And then after that, I'll start to alternate back front. I, I love 
love you in secret. First sight, yeah, we love without reason. Oh, 25 years old. Oh, how was I to know it? So now I'm gonna take the pieces that haven't been curled. I'm gonna curl a couple forwards and I'm still going to use my barrel other than the pieces at the very back. I don't find it's really that necessary, but yeah, forward, backward. Once you hit the ear, do that on both sides and backwards because I just went forwards. You wanna make sure you alternate though. You don't want them all to be coming towards your face. You could have spent forever with your hands in my pockets. It's very important that you're not like super touching the curls that you just curled. You want to let them cool off. All right, now for the front pieces over here. Because my hair like broke and died and like lived its life the way it wanted to, it can definitely be hard for me to get like a symmetrical hair situation happening. So sometimes I just can't, honestly. It just, it's a no for me. It's just not going to happen. But I definitely do my best. So. I'm just doing the same thing as last time, definitely leaving a few inches out of the bottom. I'd say that that was the biggest game changer for me when changing the way that I used to curl my hair to the way that I curl my hair now. Oh, this, this one's nice, that's good. Um, so yeah, that was the biggest thing that I had to change to get my curls to look different than they used to um, is leaving a big chunk out of the bottom and then curling it away from my face again. I don't like doing the wand because it just takes so much longer. Now we can just finish it off going forwards and backwards. <coughs> and then what I do is this is where it gets beachy. I just will take my hands and run it through all of the curls. I always run my hands. I don't brush them but with a brush, but I'll just take my hands and just go like this through my whole head, including the front pieces, the side pieces, all the pieces. And then I just figure out from there, what I need to do to get the look that I'm going for. For me with this, I'm going for just like a beachy, chill, kind of messy, tousled, not beachy because it's obviously curled, but just like a chill, uh, tousled look. This piece, for example, looks too like perfect compared to the rest of it. And also the bottom of it isn't straight. So now is when I'll go in with my straightener and I'll just straighten the tips. I'll kind of sit up so you can see this better. Here is when I'll go in and I'll just straighten the tips of my hair to make sure that they kind of don't look like dead and frizzy, especially since I just like washed it, dried it, and they haven't been straightened. They haven't really been like sealed yet. So I just like go in and I straighten just the tips of it. And if there's any pieces like this one front piece that I accidentally curled too far down and I didn't leave enough out at the bottom, I will straighten it. I will run my fingers through it. Kind of see what the situation is and i'll do this if you have any type of texturizing beach spray which i do have one from sephora it's not here though because i'm at my sister's then i'll just use that and then often because i have extensions these little pieces they just need to be oh this would be cute i'm about to film another video so i'll probably do that um but anyways there's these pieces here that i have and if you have any baby hairs or anything, you might have those as well. So I will just like take a straightener and just curl those backwards so that they're going with the rest of the hair. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my How I Curl My Hair video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know where to put them. Put them in the comment section below and I would love to answer them for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any video requests, please holler at me because I need ideas. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Bye.